Babe of the day. Babe of the day. Jane Mansfield, part three. One thing I discovered while making the Babe of the Day videos for Jane Mansfield is that there are a ton of pictures out there. I actually have to be quite selective. Jane had to be one of the most photographed women to have ever lived. She certainly was not camera shy. Jane worked a lot, but most of her work was play. TV, movies, records, nightclub appearances, modeling, photo ops. It was quite a life. There are a lot of people in show business who have more money than they deserve, and it was even true back then. But you certainly can't say that about Jane Mansfield. She earned her money and recognition. I think she is still worthy of our admiration. She wore the most colorful, interesting dresses. There was definitely nothing blah about her. She wasn't a beige lady, you know. You didn't really see her in earth tones all that much. She liked the bold and the colorful or just anything that was just kind of out there interesting. Not strange, but it had to be, you know, very pretty and very bold. Nothing too subdued about her, even when she's, you know, at her most conservative. Says, There's never really anything too subdued about Jane Mansfield. Jane through the holidays. I just thought this was kind of cool just to show different, you know, pictures that she took to celebrate the holidays. You know, Valentine's Day here with the Cupids. That's just an interesting set. I like how they did that. With the little heart pillow steps. Fourth of July with the giant firecrackers. A lot of actresses and models and things from back at this time period would do Fourth of July pictures. Usually something with a firecracker or whatever. This is kind of interesting because she had the Uncle Sam hat that she was sitting on and standing next to. Christmas is another popular thing. Ice skating picture where the guy's holding their waist and looking like he's hating every minute of it. <laughs> oh, there's her with Santa and her little dog. New Year's Eve photo. This is a good little series of New Year's Eve pictures. These were quite well used. There was a number of variations here. Getting ready for the clock to strike 12 here. This is actually supposed to be going into the year 1962. Different look. A picture of her with glasses, which is something you usually don't see. This is a dollar bill outfit like a little dollar bill dress kind of an interesting way to spend money her in a wedding gown this is her with her hair where it's not you know platinum blonde it's kind of a little bit more blonde you're not platinum oh brunette very very dark hair in this one and in this one as well it kind of throws you. You're so used to seeing her blonde. The dark hair fools you. You're holding a little umbrella. Oh, chains. Jane and chains. Oh, I'm asleep, girl. Uh. Not a whole lot of bonded pictures back then from actresses and models. Because that's still, you know, this is pretty edgy stuff. It's kind of kinky and she could get away with it, but there wasn't a whole lot of women who actually did pictures and things back then. Saloon girls. I like her little saloon girl outfit. Oh, I like this saloon girl outfit. More of a cabaret outfit or whatever. Looks like a magician's assistant here. <laughs> she really did have a lot of great costumes and outfits and things that she dressed. And it's kind of funny, you know, because as an actress, you know, she didn't really have a whole lot of range. She played one 
type of character basically most of the time. But she wore just about every outfit and every look imaginable. Well, look, that's a Marine. That's her dancing with a Marine. <laughs> Tight, tight outfit. I don't know how she got into this one. It's not actually a one-piece swimsuit because she's got, you know, little fishnet stockings. Bikini bombshell says, well, you can never get enough Jean Mansfield in a bikini. Or swimsuits, one-piece swimsuits, whatever. It's a generalized term. That's about his very early 60s right there. <laughs> Every single one of these pictures is a winner. She doesn't really miss with anything. That she does. And they could photograph her from just about any angle, and she would still look good. There wasn't like a one profile that looked better than the other. I mean, they could take pictures of her all around just about any sort of pose. And there are some models and actresses and such back then that, you know, the way they fixed them up, you know, they would look better in certain pictures than others. But generally speaking, uh, Jane Mansfield looked good just about any way they wanted to work with her. Oh, her climbing the ladder. That was another kind of thing that you would see a lot of different actresses and models and pinup girls do is they would always have them climbing ladders or showing them sitting on ladders or things like that. I don't know what it was about ladders that was supposed to be interesting, but it was a popular thing at the time. Like I said, a lot of these poses aren't the most natural, but they still look good. <laughs> I will say one thing. There are some hairdos that she has that are better than others. A little bit, you know, in her later years or whatever, the, some of the hairdos were a little bit funny. You can maybe chalk that up to the time period to the later 60s. Most of the time she had pretty hair. Sometimes she had a hairdo that wasn't quite as flattering. The lady in white, I like this. Anytime, you know, where she's wearing white or barely wearing white. White's a good color. This little furry laundry number. Another one of her famous low-cut dresses. <laughs> what? I like this. Now, it is nice to know that, you know, she just wasn't so stodgy. She did, you know, she definitely didn't mind showing herself off or didn't have a big thing against it. I think a lot of actresses nowadays could loosen up a bit, you know, just be a little bit more likable. And that's just basically with Jane Mansfield just being fun. The woman in black. A series of pictures of her in black outfits and things, black dresses. And unitards and things like that. Another good look. That just just a nice looking dress. Nothing, you know, overly sexy. An album cover right here. Cover girl is like pictures of her from album covers and mostly magazine covers and things like that. Chicks and Chuckles. <laughs> That's like the title of that. <laughs> the Jane Mansfield pinup book where there's four different pinups inside. It had to be kind of cool. They make pinup books now. 
of various things, you know, pinup art and things like that. Not quite as popular as it was back then, but they're still around. Well, this is her at her gate. There were so many different kinds of these magazines back then, you know, men's magazines. Playboy didn't have the market cornered on that entirely, you know, back then. And these are magazines from not just America, but from all over the world, different countries in Europe and such in South America. Well, thanks for watching. This is my last Jane Mansfield video that I planned to do. I could be talked into doing a fourth one. If you're interested in seeing a fourth Jane Mansfield video, let me know in the comments below.